Tired of your guitar sounding like this? Whippy, whippy, whippy. Instead of this? I hope you know. And that was all done using a contact library. But there are some things about these contact libraries that you need to know to make them as thick as possible. There are a couple tricks I've learned in my 10 years of production on how to really make these guitars super wide, super big, in your face, and large, like a big old wall of sound. That's what you want in a rock chorus. And it all starts within your contact library. If you're using something like this, this is Hydra from Shreddage 3, and you see it has multi-tracking. Okay, this is where we're gonna do something different. I'm just gonna go to the Modern Metal 2 preset because that's just the one I like the most. We're gonna turn this to power chords by using the key switch D sharp. Most of the time, what you will be tempted to do is to turn on all the multi-tracking and thinking that that's gonna make it thick. But that's where we go wrong. And I'm gonna show you how we can do it right. So let's just make a simple chord progression. Now here is the secret trick. We're gonna export with only one of these multi-tracks selected. And then you're just gonna do the same thing for each one of these multi-tracks. Like for example, select two and turn off one. And then export again. Because whenever you have all of these multi-tracks selected, it's not as wide as possible. It's not done how it would actually be done if you were recording guitar. Usually you would have four multi-tracks, you would have the quads, or you would even have eight. And they would each be panned left and right. So that's what we're going to do with each one of these multi-tracks because for one, it makes it more full, more wide, and it also sounds more realistic because that's what you would actually do in a recording setting. And after we export all of these, we're also going to do another trick that you can do in this library and other libraries. So we've got all of our multi-tracks. All we need to do, it doesn't matter which ones, we just have one go to the left, the next one go to the right, one go to the left, and the next one go to the right. Take it back now, and then we send each one of those into its own mixer track and we process it as a whole. So now we've got a very full sound already. <laughs> but a way we can take this up a notch and make it even th thicker. What we're gonna do is go over here to tune and we're gonna turn this up five semitones. Then we're gonna go to the advanced tab and go to transpose and turn it down five semitones. And I also changed the preset from Modern Metal 2 to Modern Metal 1. If you're feeling lazy and you don't want to do each multi-track again, you can just do all the multi-tracks because this layer is going to be quiet. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do because I'm feeling lazy. Then you export that. I'll just call this thickness layer. So now we have our thickness layer and our regular quad guitars. And I'm going to route those into the same mixer track. Guitar bus. And now there is one more thing we can do to make this even thicker. And the reason I go through all of this is because I've been using these fake guitars for a really long time and it took me a long time to get the same level of thickness and punch you in the mouth as a real guitar because it's, it's just difficult to do. But I have found a way. You can use the same preset or you can use a different one. I'm gonna go to ready to gent because that's a really good one for single notes and that's our next trick we're gonna take this to c1 which is the key switch for making this a single note sustained and if you wanted to you could export one multi-track at a time for each one of these different layers but with all our layers now it's pretty f thick if we took away the thickness layer and the sustain layer it just sounds like this add in the thickness layer Add in the single note layer. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make thick guitars. And if there's anything else you'd like to learn, let me know in the comments. 